Hi, this is Dow Too Fast here. In this video, I will show you this car rear view mirror with a built-in car dash camera and an integrated 5-inch touchscreen LCD on the mirror itself. This unit I have here is made by the company Ehum. It's spelled E-H-O-O-M. So let me get straight to unboxing this. I'll show you what the unit looks like. So this is the rear view mirror with the dash cam on this side. Here we have the power cable with a mini USB connector. Rubber straps to mount this onto your existing factory mirror. And here is the user manual. So let's take a closer look at this unit. As you can see, the mirror surface is flat. Now there are some aftermarket mirrors that are curved. This one's flat just like the factory one. And if you look at the mirror surface, it does have a slight blue tint on it. Also, the bezel is very thin, which gives it a very nice sleek look to it. Looking at the bottom of the mirror, we have several buttons here to control the dash cam function. This is the up select, this one is down select, OK button, mode button, and the power button. If you look at the top of the mirror, over here on the right, this is the mini USB connector to power this unit up. Next to it is the audio video output port. This is the memory card slot. Now this dash cam supports up to 32 gigabyte of memory size. This is the GPS port. This is optional. Now looking at the back of the mirror, here we have the speaker on the left. In the middle we have the reset button. This is the microphone. On the right this is the car dash camera itself. I should mention the back housing of this unit is metal, so it's a very solid unit. Now as for the dash cam, the camera has a 170 degree wide angle lens and is comprised of six different lenses to give very good optics when recording the video. The aperture on the lens is f1.7, so it's great for nighttime recording. It records in full HD, 1080p. Also, this lens here can be swiveled, so you can adjust the angle to the angle that you need. Now in the middle, we have two rubber straps, and this is what you'll use to strap onto the existing factory mirror. Now using the rubber straps that come with this unit, what you want to do is clip this, into the strap here and then bring this rubber strap over your factory mirror and then clip it onto the bottom side right here like this. The power cable that comes with this unit is 11 feet long so that should be enough length for you to run it from the rear view mirror over to the A pillar and down to your center console. Now if you look at the power adapter right here it does say the output is DC 5 volt at 2 amp. On the other end of this cable we have the mini USB connector that you'll plug to the top connector of this unit. So let's first install the micro SD memory card. Now we'll connect the power cable to the unit. Once the unit is powered on, you'll see this menu screen. Now again, this is a touch screen, so it makes control and navigation very easy. At the bottom right hand corner, we have the settings menu. Here you can make changes to the settings of the dash camera. At the top left hand corner is the resolution. By default it's set to 1080p Full HD. Next one is parking monitor. By default it's off. Now if you have an external power source to power this car dash camera, you can turn this mode on where it will detect any impact of the vehicle while it's parked. And when it detects that, it will turn on the unit automatically. It will record either a 5 second or 10 second video clip and then after the recording it will turn off on its own. We have G sensor, you can turn it off, high, medium or low, I'm going to set this for medium. What this will do is if you get into an accident it will detect the impact and lock that video clip. Next one is auto screen off and right now it's off. So while it's recording if you want the screen to turn off you can set this here. I'm going to set this for 30 seconds. Next one is day and time. Here you can set the day and time. language, go back, format, to format the micro SD card, we'll do that right now. Default setting, if you want to revert back to factory default, loop recording. So this dash cam will continuously record two minute video clips while you're driving. Auto power off, so if you're not recording, it will actually turn off the unit automatically. We can set this for one minute, car number. Here you can set a car number for this car dash camera. 
Now when you're done with the setup, if you press the mode button, it'll go back to the recording screen. Now when this dash cam turns on and you get to this main screen, after a period of time it does go to the video record screen. So as you can see at the top left hand corner we have the flashing red dot that tells you the recording is taking place. At the top right hand corner you see the resolution is 1080p. Now if you press the down arrow button it will mute the microphone right there. I'm going to press it again and now it's unmuted. Now while the unit is recording if you want to turn on and off the LCD screen press the far right button which is the power button just tap it once and you'll see the LCD turn off. Press it again and it'll turn it back on. Now at the bottom right hand corner of the screen you see a lock icon. You can touch this icon to lock the video clip. So if you see something happening on the road while driving you can tap this icon, you can lock that video clip so it will not be overwritten. If you tap it again, it will unlock it. To install this dash cam mirror onto your existing mirror, place it directly onto your mirror. Bring this elastic down, over. And then hook it in. Take the other elastic, do the same thing. Next, we'll connect the power cable to the USB port at the top. Then we'll run this cable up to the headliner. Then tuck this cable underneath the headliner. Run all the way to the A-pillar right here and down to your center console. Plug your 12-volt power adapter into your 12-volt accessory port. Now we'll power on the unit. and you can adjust the angle of the camera on the front right here. Now don't forget to remove this protective plastic on the screen. Well, I hope you enjoy watching the review of this rear view mirror car dash camera. Now from the video clips, you can see the daytime recording is very good. You can see a lot of details, including license plates and street signs. And as for the nighttime recording, I do notice at times the video can get grainy when the exposure changes. I should mention the videos are recorded in AVI format, which makes the file size quite large. A two minute video clip is about 500 megabytes. So for example, if you're using a 16 gigabyte memory card, it will record about an hour of video. The built-in microphone works very well. It can pick up the audio very clearly. Now there is something that I notice about the image that you see on the mirror. When you're using it as a rear view mirror, the image seems to be magnified a little bit. And during daytime, the image looks all right. But when you're driving at night, that image can look a little bit distorted. And that was something I did notice when I was testing this unit. Now I do like the overall design of the user interface. With the touch screen, it's very easy to navigate and set up the dash cam. Also, the installation is very simple, as you saw. 
only requires wrapping the two rubber straps around the mirror. So perhaps if you're looking for a dash cam that does not require a windshield mount or take up any space on the windshield, this style of dash cam might be something you can consider. Now, if you want to know where you can get this unit, I will include the link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts about this type of design of dash cam by leaving a comment below. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.